The Truman is heading out to sea and sailors have said goodbye to their loved ones and many are gathered here to bid farewell. Lee Marie Rice gave her husband Michael one last kiss before he headed out on deployment from Naval Station Norfolk. Rice's kids had a parting sign for their dad. Thank you, Papi. I love you. About 6,000 sailors left Naval Station Norfolk on deployment this afternoon as part of the Harry S. Truman Strike Group. Shelly Stake and her son Simon waved goodbye to Simon's dad, Sean, as the ship prepared to depart. It's emotional, but it's our second deployment. We're uh, pretty prepared for it, except for the aspect of uh, my son realizing that dad's not home because he's going to be aware this time. Seven ships are part of the strike group, including the Truman and aircraft carrier. A Norwegian Navy ship is also joining them. Navy leadership is not getting more specific on where they're heading or exactly how long they'll be gone. It's a dynamic world. I tell our sailors, hey, uh, I know when we're leaving. Um, we have a pretty good idea when we're coming home, but it's not guaranteed. Where we go in between is, uh, is subject to uh, world events. The ship was on deployment in 2020 during the beginning of the COVID-19 pandemic, but this time around, nearly 100% of the sailors are vaccinated. I think it does uh, uh, allow us to have more confidence that uh, if we have an outbreak of COVID, um, it's not going to put an individual sailor's risk at health, or it's not going to put the, the mission of the, the ship at risk. For the families, it's a tough day, especially around the holidays, but one they've come to accept. What's the saying? Too much has been given, much is required. And we signed up for this. Say bye-bye. Wanda Stake has been through this before. Her son is on his third deployment. I just pray every day, put him in, put him in God's hands and um, just pray that he stays safe and everybody stay safe, really. <laughs> And as the Truman left the pier, loved ones watch it head into the horizon, hoping it won't be too long before they see their sailors again. At Naval Station Norfolk, Brendan Ponton, News 3.